What's up, Zilliversies? It's officially Zillibs O'Clock, so stop tripping because we've got you. And making headlines today, Ziggy Mazwai jumps on Mr. Razzmatazz's head on Twitter. Late night news with Louis Sokola gets canned. And Flabba's cousin speaks about the night that Flabba was killed. Stop buzzing around, folks. Here's some real news. This is Zilliibs.com. Oh, yeah. There have been a lot of negative reports going around about Nomza Mombata and Jessica Nkosi. Rumor has it that the Isibaya co-stars were feuding over singer Kayam Teto. Wait, what? I wonder what Mavs made of that. Anyway, speaking on Catch It with Kanye about the alleged feud, Jessica said, I decided not to entertain it. I'm just like, listen, stop. Go find somebody else to pick on. When asked if the media had caused a rift between her and Nomzamo, Jessica told Kanye, for me, yes, we are cool. People must just leave us alone. But really, Kaya? Don't you just love the way Twitter brings out the best in people? The tour this time, it's between Nsigi Mazwa and Figi Limbalula. And believe us, Nsigi isn't holding any punches. <laughs> After she had a short outburst at the Minister of Sports, Nsigi threatened to pull out rumors about Mr. Razmataz after he alleged that she smokes too much weed. One of the tweets read, People who live in glass houses should not throw stones. I will f shatter your house. Yeah. Guys, make sure you check out our site to see all of Nziggy's tweets. Guys, we're in for it now, hey? LNN with Luis Ogola has been cancelled. Who's going to defend the people now? They can't expect Derek Watts and Carte Blanche to do it alone. ETV and the production company in charge of the show couldn't agree on new format changes or the overall commercial terms. The statement read, We've been negotiating with the LNN team since March. We wanted them to explore the option of short format satirical inserts on a more regular basis rather than just a weekly show. Regrettably, they declined to revise the format. Flavis' girlfriend, Cindy Siwe Mangale, has pleaded not guilty in the Randburg Magistrates Court on Monday morning. In light of this, the late rapper's cousin, Luyanda Sulupa, gave his version of events as he witnessed the aftermath of the tragedy. Leander told the court that Flava and his girlfriend had been arguing for 30 minutes and that he heard Cindy Siwa mentioning two of Flava's ex-girlfriends. Luyanda then went to investigate what the commotion was about, but Flava's bedroom door was closed. He knocked, but the couple was still arguing. Moments later, he heard Cindy Siwa running out from the room, pleading for help and saying that she had stabbed Flava by mistake. Guys, we'd love to know what you think about LNN getting cancelled and Cindy Siwe pleading not guilty. So be sure to tweet us at Zalibs and comment on our top stories below if you're on YouTube or on any of the social media sites you see on screen. And also don't forget to click on our logo in the bottom right corner to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And for the full stories, go to Zalibs.com.